everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Hannah. Today's video, as you can see from the title, we're going to be doing a highly... All right, I've been requested loads from this. I had loads of DMs saying, Hannah, can you do a review on the Norvina palette? The new ABH Norvina Volume 1 Press Pigment pro pigment palette so i thought i'm going to create a look with you guys really quickly really snappy not going to go too too in depth because i know you guys like me to get straight to the point and show you my thoughts so yeah if you want to see what look we create and my thoughts on the palette and whether you should buy it or not then please keep watching i am luckily and gratefully on the abhpr list however all opinions are my own i'm not going to be using the abh primer with the pressed pigment palette reason being i'll be honest i'm not a great fan of the primer um I, I have to mix the primer with a concealer to get it the way i want i prefer concealers to use as a base just because i feel like they're meant for the eye area not that bases are not i'm just saying concealers i'm used to the concealer that i normally use are used to my under eyes and my lids so they tend to pick up shadow anyway um i do use them wet i if you want me to do some looks using dry eyeshadows please feel free but i'm going to be using the be perfect cosmetics perfect prime eyeshadow priming base now this is new I recommend it. I'm going to do a video on my eyeshadow series of what bases might work for you, obviously, because some people prefer concealer, some people prefer bases like the P. Louise base or the Sample Beauty base or the ABH primer and all of that. So, difference between primers, bases. I'm going to be doing a video on that, so please stay tuned for that. But yeah, I just wanted to show you, I'm going to be using this just because I'll be honest, the ABH base, the ABH primer isn't my favorite thing. I like it maybe to cut a crease or if I want to just bang on the actual like main part of my lid just to pop a color then maybe but i'll be honest i have used this palette this isn't a first impression i've used this palette it can be a hit and miss with the primer so i want to see what it's like without and with a different primer so yeah so for those that haven't seen um i know there's been a lot of controversy about this palette because of the price because of all of that i got this palette in pr before i knew about the price and the price is but then ABH normal palettes are about 42 to 46 pounds anyway, and you only get 14 shadows. So this palette has 25 shadows for 68 pounds. So that's probably about a 16 to 20 pound plus difference, if that. So I want to see whether it's worth it because you want to be paying for your money and i really hope this is a good palette so this is what the palette looks like it is gorgeous now the reason why i'm in love with it and before i could even recommend it to you guys if i will recommend it to you is because i just really like the color assortment in my personal opinion when i saw this palette i i was a bit scared reason being because purples in a pressed pigment formula are really really difficult to formulate like they're really I'm, obviously I'm, I'm not an expert i've never created cosmetics product but from every time i've seen experienced people of every time i've seen an eyeshadow palette and i've used a purple there are very very few purples that work for me and i am a purple junkie i love hitting purple on the lid um so yeah this is what the palette looks like it is a gorgeous sorry it's reflecting this is a really really gorgeous palette i just love the color scheme of it i think there hasn't been in my personal opinion not in general it could whether it's right or wrong in my personal opinion i think there's not been a color assortment like this for a long time i can't sit here and go oh this palette looks like xyz um i have used this palette this isn't a first impression i have used this palette for a few looks i will link my instagram looks in the description so you guys can actually have a look at other eyeshadow looks i've created i'm thinking of creating a very like blue purpley and then with a bit of a shimmer on the lid nothing too complicated because i don't want to i don't want to go faffing around and end up my techniques mess up the palette's performance so yeah we're going to keep to that so um the colors are named from like a to e which i kind of like as well because sometimes when i'm playing with a palette going and saying to someone oh it's like buttercup it's just hard to remember so if i can just say oh it's b1 or whatnot then i prefer that um 68 pounds i'll be honest is expensive for me like i'll be honest i am grateful and very very grateful to get this in pr i would only get this and even if the performance sometimes for me it really is the price now i know it sounds bad and i get that you're gonna want to get quality for 68 pounds however in my personal opinion because of financial life i feel that i probably wouldn't go out my way to spend 70 pounds on a palette maybe i would maybe when i'm older or maybe if i hadn't been on the pr list i might have thought oh okay i might get this but i have never other than the modern renaissance palette that i bought i really enjoyed that palette but i thought i'm not gonna buy it again just because 42 or 46 pounds something around that area 
It's a lot of money. Um, I'll just be honest, especially for someone, especially for the Instagram people these days, a lot of them are children, a lot of them are teenagers, Forking out £70 for a palette might be a bit excessive. So that's just my personal opinion anyway. I think it's a great palette. I love the um, the colours. I'm obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. I'd love to see if a brand came out of a dupe. I know that's bad. But I'd love to see what other people create with this palette as well. Um, but yeah, we are going to get into the palette. I've not had any issues. I really like the oranges and the reds of the palette. They really, really perform really, really well. Um, they don't go patchy. One purple, I think at one point, a deeper purple went patchy, but the top row, A2 and A3 shade, they perform exceptionally. Um, D1, D3, E2 and E4 all perform really, really well. I tried D2, which we're gonna try today. Now the shimmers, I'm a bit disappointed about. Now I do get this is a completely different formula to ABH's original formula, in my personal opinion anyway. Like if I look at the powders and shimmers from the like uh, Sultry palette or the Soft Glam palette, they're a bit more creamier. These ones are a bit more pressed, literally pressed. Um, so they are quite hard to get into maybe it just needs a little bit of work but they are really pressed i think maybe the mattes should have been pressed like how they are and the shimmers should have been left to their original formula because i do really really love and i don't think many people have complaints about the ava shimmers but anywho i've been talking enough we're going to go into an eyeshadow look so i am going to prime my eyes i'm going to go up close and personal to show you guys how i do it i might do a voiceover i might not depending on time just because i don't want to sit here and go oh, i'm blending this shade i'm blending that shade i just want to go straight into it so i am just going to prime using the be perfect cosmetics like i said i would 100 recommend using this primer i've used this twice this is the third time and every look that i've used it, the past two looks that i've used of it i am highly highly impressed this is my favorite base that i've ever used in my life um, would 100% recommend it. I don't think it's going to be too expensive. Just use a little bit on the lid and I go in with a Colourpop F5 brush. I used to use a sponge but I find that using a brush really pats it in and you can get it to where you want. Especially in the inner corner. I find getting um, base in the inner corner because my eyelids are different. I don't know. I don't know. It just doesn't work. But anywho, I'm just going to pat it into the lid as so. Sorry if you can hear outside of my room. I need my windows open. I just need it, people. I'm sorry, but I need it. I will be telling you what brush I use for each part of the look and the shade I'll be using and all of that. But of course, if you want a speed up version, I will be putting this look on my Instagram. So please feel free to head over to there. Actually going into the pan, I'm not gonna zoom in. I'm gonna probably do a voiceover just because it's a little bit easier for me to actually tell you what I'm doing, what color. Okay, so going into the first shade, which is A2, and I'm taking an Illa Masca 185, just bringing that through the crease. I don't want to bring it lower onto the lid just because we're going to pack some navy on there. But yeah, I am taking a different brush, which is the Morphe E17, just to pack it on a little bit more before we blow, go back and blend in with the Illa Masca brush. Now taking the shade B1, this in on a Morphe M506 brush. This is a small, a smaller brush, a smaller, fluffier brush, just to blend it out to near the brow bone not too too near then going with, with b4 with a spectrum a12 i think this is packing that right into the crease just so that there's a transition from when we add the navy blue then going with the d4 and then going in with a profusion cosmetics it's one of their new metallic brushes and packing that right onto the lid this is such a beautiful navy it's got like little sparkles of shimmer my absolute favorite now we're going to go into D2 and we're going to use a crown brush, BK39 brush, just to pack this shimmer on. I love this. I did wet the brush, so yeah. And then we're going in with that original shade just underneath the lower lash line. And then lastly, we're going to go in with an ABH A14 brush with that bottom shade E1 just to pack into the inner corner and we are done. I'm back. As you can see, I've done the eyes. Um, on my lips, I have the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Trendsetter. On top, I have the ABH Liquid Lipstick in Stripped. I love this combo. It's a very, like, my casual nude colour. Um, so I hope you like this look. I really, really do. Um, I was actually really impressed. Now, I... I as you can see from when I was telling you guys through the tutorial, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at my dog, Marley. When I first applied A2 to the lid, which was the first shade we put on when I started the voiceover, I found that it was a little bit tricky to blend, a little bit tricky to get a hold of, but however, we did 
managed to get through. The other shades like B1 um, and D4 and B4 were really, really good. So I was really, really happy with those. Um, I had no issues other than the A2 at the start. When I did it on this side, it was a lot easier, but obviously you have to manage and know how they work to then make them work, if you get what I mean. I was actually really impressed with D2. Now I had used D2, the shimmer, which is on my lid. Sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. I had used D2 previously a few days ago and it was really dry now i don't know if it was because of the top layer or because i used the wrong brush sometimes it is the brushes you use um, which is a shame because you'd want it to work for every brush especially if you're paying that amount of money but when i did use this brush right here which is the crown brush bk 39 chisel fluff brush which i talked about in my favorite eyeshadow brushes as a packer and a shimmer this applied really really beautifully um i sprayed it i even sprayed it last time when i used it and it didn't work but this time it worked so that is a good thing um but yeah i had no overall problems the shimmer e1 which i'd never used before in the inner corner was a really really nice like peachy sort of beautiful shade i'd love to see that on the lid i can't wait to use that but overall do you know what i'm happy with it if you get what i mean like i'm not like oh my god what not which can be disappointing because you are paying 68 pounds for it but i do really like it the color scheme for me is 10 out of 10. um the pigmentation for some of them can be a little bit rocky i think if you are a beginner to eyeshadow i probably wait to then get this palette later on in your like makeup career um i wouldn't advise you getting it as like a starter palette because it's very tricky to work with even someone like myself i'm not a professional i'm not pro or anything like that but sometimes i'm finding a shadow quite tricky to blend um but yeah i would say the oranges and the reds are really really lovely this palette really really lovely pack on lovely the shimmers I was really impressed with D4 because D4 actually has a sort of like glitter to it. It's like a matte, but it has a sort of shimmer in it as well. Very pigmented, built on lovely, blended really, really well. Sometimes I'm so scared about blending navies with purples because they can get really patchy. They can go really messy. And then like you could just put your brush somewhere random on your eye and it'll just stick and you can't really change that sort of thing. So the thing is with shimmers that are same colours of the mattes, you can sort of go over it and make it work. However, with mattes, you've just got to start blending. I'm looking at my dog and my dog's just going nuts. Anywho, but yeah, I think overall the palette is impressive. I do really, really like the palette. I will continue to use it. I want to use more of the yellows. The yellows are a little bit different for me, um, which is nice because it's something different for me to then challenge my creativity but i do really like the little vibrant pops of like uh e4 and um a5 which i really love like a pop of pink a pop of orange coral shades this is like a different type of like it's like a neon orangey pinky who what know what um but yeah like uh, i'm really really impressed with it i think the packaging is a little bit I don't know. I prefer the ABH original packaging. I would have loved that. Would have made it really luxurious. I think the the whole. I like it. I think it's magnetic. I'm not actually sure, but I think it's like metallic. -y, I think it's like plastic. Which if you used to drop this, it would be a nightmare. Molly, what are you doing? Um, if you was to drop this, this would be a nightmare. Um, because it would just all smash. But I think if you was to have the original um abh packaging where it's like a little bit like a cushion it would work perfectly in my personal opinion it'd be really luxurious as well i'd love to see the print of that but i do like it the packaging's great absolutely obsessed quite impressed um but yeah of course i'm going to be showing you more looks on my instagram please head over to there which is at hansen loose i'm always doing looks every single day for you guys i really hope you enjoyed this look if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section let me know if you're going to buy this palette or if you're not going to buy this palette why you are and why you're not going to buy this palette i'd love to know let me know what you think of it let me know if you've seen really interesting looks let me know if you'd like me to do any interesting looks or what other palettes you'd like me to review or test or just you know what um i love all of you if you're new here please subscribe i would mean the absolute world to me and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you all and i shall hope to see you in my next video bye